Hi everyone, Elisa with Jots Designs. In this video, I'm going to take this 8 inch pine round plaque and do a swipe. I'm going to have a black background and I'm going to use black oil based enamel paint for the swipe. And uh, links for products and discount codes are down below in the description. And give the video a thumbs up. Let me know what you think of this piece in the comments. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and make sure the notifications are on so you'll know when I upload my videos. Let's get started. Okay, so the edges of this are a little rough in a couple areas. I don't want to do a whole lot of sanding and actually change the shape of it, so I'm just making sure it's basically smooth and all the, the pieces of wood are... are smooth down a little bit. And then I took it in my garage and I gave it two quick coats of the polyurethane clear gloss and I'm going to color the background with black acrylic paint. Um, it's just the apple barrel I get from uh, Walmart and put it in this little container so it's just easier to, to squirt out really. <laughs> um, so I'm starting with the sides, making sure that that's fully covered and then doing the the base here. So I let that dry and I'm going to be using the ClearCast 7050. I've gotten this from the epoxy resin store and there's coupons down below for that. For the black I'm using the Rust-Oleum Gloss Black Protective Enamel and um, I also made my own color using some Just Resin Raspberry and Silk Violet. So that's what is in this cup that I'm making a mess with. And then I'm also going to use some Lorez Angel White and Mayron Metallic Powder Gold and some Just Resin Emerald Green. So I'm just going to start mixing up my resin here. And when you make the resin, you always want to make sure that you start with your hardener. Um, so this resin is a 2 to 1 ratio resin and um, you can do it by weight or volume. And with small amounts, I like doing it by weight. And I'm just going to mix that up, making sure I scrape the sides of the container and the stick as well and the bottom. And I'm also just going to stir up that Rust-Oleum, make sure that's good. And I realized that I didn't have a black black, um, so I grabbed some Lorez black. And then with this color that I made, I wanted to change it just a little bit. So I grabbed some golden high flow acrylic um, magenta. And I added just a drop. It's a water base, so you definitely don't want to add too much. It wasn't just right, so I also grabbed some high flow acrylic uh, permanent violet dark. Added a drop, mixed it up, added one more drop, and it was a color closer to what I was looking for. So I'll just get the rest of these mixed up here. And um, for the black, Basically, I'm going to scrape off my stick here and I'm just going to let just a little bit drip in. And so there's a drop and then a long drop. And I'd say that's probably about four to five drops total. Um, you want to make sure that it's still transparent. You don't want it to be opaque. So you can see at the edge of the resin on the stick there, it's still slightly transparent, but it was a little darker than I wanted. So I added just a little bit more resin, and then um, I added the black Lorez paste to it to make sure that it was an opaque black. And you'll be able to see that here when I pull the stick out. You can definitely tell at the edge of how much darker it is, and that, that's how I determine if it's opaque or not. And then I'm just going to spread the rest of the clear resin around, so that way... Um, I just start with the, the clear on the bottom. It helps the colors flow and move, and you definitely need that for a swipe. And then I'm going to lay the colors next to each other here and, and the black. So basically, when you do a swipe, you're going to take your paper, and I've got bits of uh, freezer paper, which is what I'm using to protect my table as well. And you're going to take the piece of paper and put it down to where it's maybe about a a pencil width touching down as you drag and you're going to drag the colors over that black so basically over the enamel oil based paint and you're going to do kind of slow and I'm going to speed it up here just so we can get through this and 
you know, you can wiggle it around. You can pull up the cor one corner as you go. Um, that's what I did on the first swipe, and I'm going to adjust that big blob of gold down there at the bottom here in a minute. But I wanted to get the other side, and I wanted to include the white because I didn't want a whole lot of white on this, just a little bit. Um, so I laid the, ca the colors down next to each other, including the black, and then I'm just taking the paper and swiping over the black as well. And then you'll see when I take the, the torch here, some of those cells, especially in the white, really start to pop out. And you can kind of say, hey, I want the, the cells here, so I'm going to do a little bit more heat here. You don't want to do too much heat, um, but just enough over it quickly, and you'll see the cells start popping up. So I let the uh, video, I let it record for about three or four minutes after I was done, and you can just see how how much it moves. It doesn't move a whole lot. The table is level, but the colors kind of shrank in on themselves, which was kind of neat. And it helped make that um, area where the colors were blend a little bit better. Um, so I really enjoy that. Now, I did coat this um, with just a clear layer of resin, but I deleted the files when I was transferring to my computer. So um, here's the final shots. <laughs> Um, you can see how that gold just pops out and the, I, I mean, the colors are amazing with it's a black kind of on black. It is a little hard to see and I definitely need a spotlight on it. Um, especially with these metallics in here, but it turned out great. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think down in the comments and I will see you next week.